Yeah, no, I'm just, oh my gosh. Hi, everybody. Oh my gosh. I'm just going to keep going there, Nick. Oh, the green room. I've been waiting for four years. hit that ball. Arthur fucking kicked me the ball. I said, I've got it. I'm gonna run into the end zone and I'm gonna get my glory. Who made me? Listen, if Tom Hanks works for you, works for me. God bless him. But true story, I'm not working with anybody who hasn't signed that ceasefire now because we, right, we're all here watching what's been going on. But the Armenian Quarter, that's my frame story, the Armenian Quarter, you know. Jesus Christ, people. The point is, is you can't get more educated than me, okay? That's the point. I actually do have the power to cancel and I've used it, people. I did cancel Gettysburg College, and then I did it again when I canceled the Center for Talented Youth. You're welcome. That place ain't shit. I was like, I'm not getting paid enough to babysit. Number one. Number two, I don't like to babysit. I teach. There's a big Anyway, I'm trying to relax, but it's really hard because I'm filled with anticipation. Oh, the note that I've been getting is that I'm better without the glasses. Oh, look, little bunny ears. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to be on Broadway, people. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm ecstatic about it. I really am because I've been working so hard. Do you see the lighting in here? It's so gorgeous. I'm feeling like I felt that summer late four years ago in the simulacrum of a loophole of retreat that I created there in Germantown. Happy birthday, Michael Fassbender. That might be interesting, wouldn't it, eh? Would anybody like to take my mini seminar on the work of Steve McQueen, the black one? Don't, don't try to come near me. I am in the Armenian quarter. I am on Broadway and I am envisioning myself by the Spirit invested in me, I am calling her in. Oh my gosh. Nicole Kidman. Thank you, girl. She's holding my hair back. Thank you, girl, for holding my hair back. Thank you, Nick. Oh gosh, people. I am in Sydney. They're my health care providers up. Thank you, Nicole Kidman. <sighs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, Hollywood. Oh my gosh, I just, this is just such a wonderful moment for me. <laughs> it's just such a wonderful moment for me. It's just such a wonderful moment for me, do you know? I just, I feel like, I feel like I've really come a long way, you know, when Arthur said to me, patient is a virtue, it's just, you know, I get it, 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 you really have to appreciate, sorry, that was Arthur, um, you really have to appreciate what you've got 
Otherwise, it's gob. Gone till it's. I wish I could say play Janet Jackson. Google, but I can't, right? I mean, what did people do before AI, my friends? That's the question that brings me back here to Broadway. I'm live-ish capturing my performance project. I have to let it go. But I am a method actor of the highest order. You've got to be to make it at the improv, yo. Yeah. Yeah. Give it up for the improv. Thank you, improv. Yeah. Inside outside game, people, yeah, yeah. I know some of this must look awfully strange to some of you out there, but if you know, you know, right? Everybody's just put on tape now, right? There are no auditions anymore, people. That's what I don't get about Hollywood, right? It's just such an antiquated way to produce content, right? I mean, and I didn't even know that you could eat honey straight from a jar until Diane Keaton taught me that. Do you know what I mean? I mean, look how beautiful this is as a framing, you know? All right, I can bring the poppers in if I wanted to, but honestly, this is just a prop. To me, it's a really interesting metaphor for acting because you just kind of step out into the ether and you go, you know? <laughs> and honestly, I think like most folk remedies, poppers, which are a long time harm reduction tool. The sirens, they remind me so much of New York that time, Arthur. Remember Arthur, baby? The truth is, Broadway, I would not be here were it not for my love, Arthur. This is the set. I've been developing this project for at least a year. I am going to Jerusalem. I'm already there. Jerusalem is everywhere we go with it as long as we carry it there. I there, hold me. Our strength, Arthur. Our strength is in our connection. Respect existence or expect resistance. COVID-19 people. Critical resistance, stop the insanity. What would Susan Powter say? She would say, stop the insanity. Think like her, not like Susan Power. New York, I'm coming for you. <laughs> so much has gone wrong. <sighs> this is my public mourning process. They Killed Gaza and no more. <laughs> Secularists did this. Heathens. I'm trying to let it out, Broadway. <laughs> Think what would Marina Abramovich do? Thank you, Hanifin Gonzalez. <laughs> Thank you. What's his name? Antoine Griechman. I have an interview at Mango tomorrow. Wish me luck. I sure would love to work there. I love the dice. Wish me luck, mom and dad. I know it's another risk, but I think that I can handle it. 
Ah, all, I, all I wanted to do was earn an honest wage. Look what they're making me do to earn it. It's vulgar. But I have all of my clothes on. Let me read from the book. Let me read from the book. Thank you, the lion. I'm coming for you, Broadway. I'm coming for you. I'm going to take off all of my clothes for you, Broadway. I've got nothing to hide. Stop in the name of Foucault. That's my alibi. Let me get this out to you. See what they're making me do here. I'm composing. I'm an opera singer. Thank you. Thank you, New York. Thank you, Nico Muley. Ah. Yes, I've got there. Oh my gosh, it was the best move ever. We did it, we did it, we did it, we stopped it. We did. Rebirth and the salesman, motherfuckers. This might not be the most flattering. But you see, it's the upper room I'm in, right? I've already transcended. What would Dr. Toby say? She would say, take notes. It's the easiest way. It's the easiest way to remember. So how come Lin-Manuel Miranda fucked with everybody's heads with Hamilton, right? You didn't think I was going to, what's the line? Address that through my own experience at Hettiesburg College, that fucking place where they put, wait for it, Confederate flags on the burgers. And all the students were used to it, right? The walking dead. There was an assault on a black student at Gettysburg College. And nobody gave a fuck. If that had happened at a campus of the City University of New York, there would have been hell to pay. What would Larry Kramer think? Oh, I know I interviewed Larry Kramer, the normal heart, keeping it moving. I haven't even taken my pills today, people. This is why I'm on prop ranol. Wow. Hello, hello. Thank you, Kiki and Herb. Mud honey. You didn't think there were eyes on me? Turns out all eyes were on me. Near Rican. Poets Cafe, Sidebar, Trifecta, Wednesday, 31st, January, 2018. This is my play, Broadway. Let me speak it to you. The second full moon in a calendar month, therefore a blue moon, super moon, closest point to each in its orbit, a total lunar eclipse. Well, we're having a solar eclipse, this double leap year, my friends. It's a leap year on the Gregorian calendar and a leap year as well on the Jewish calendar. I mean, how much more do I have to trot out about my knowledge of Judaism, right, before anybody takes me seriously? Oh, I own Cash Up. I do. Oh, I own Musk. Yes, I do. I'm roasting other people, people. I'm not roasting in hell. Can you imagine if this were in the round? Thank you, Zainab Johnson. I got to keep my voice down. Mm -hmm. Oh, gosh. 
grateful, not hateful. That's what Mark Jacobs says. She manifests Abraham Hicks playwriting uh just over 15 minutes i'm gonna wrap it up now you you see what i'm doing here right el mundo hermes playwriting is a form of speech writing I have transcended time. That's how you live your best life, my friend. I'm just checking myself in my mirror. It's called self-reflection. I am the world's best interpreter and practitioner of Zaidian cultural political critique. I might even have cancer, but I actually just think my hips are extremely sore. They don't lie, you know. Right? That's the fucking bullshit of everything, people. Right. Let me try to get out of this loop. Playwriting is just like speech writing. I've been making speeches my whole entire fucking life. Politics is an entertainment. It's a sport. It's a performance. Trump has every right to win because he does by far a better performance. I don't pay attention to him very often, but I did see that his company did whatever business it did the other day. If he were anybody else, that would be a pretty fucking impressive accomplishment. At least people would give him that credit. You know, Hollywood gave me its special sauce and I'm reporting back to New York right now in this play, The Armenian Quarter. I'm the outside observer. I have experienced the goddess. I experience her all the time. It's called loving kindness. I'm a Zen master, the only kind of master I can support, which is a master of letting go. I don't give a fuck. I mean, you could imagine something like this running. And Broadway between 4.30 and 6.30 p.m. perhaps. Right. Even with that skateboarding in the back. Arthur knows me inside and out, as I know him. He's the Romeo to my Juliet, the Juliet to my Romeo. Visa, Versa, Victor, Victoria. The play is the thing, play on. It's a very elevated way of living. 
but it's the only way I know now. Spin me right round. Right round, baby. Spin me right round. And I'll show you how to get a couple more inches.